Welcome you all to watch this introduction into new semi-dynamic DCS F18 campaign from Sandman Simulations. There are some elements inspired by Operation Pontus campaign, like use of mission planner function and transferring situation information from last mission to next one by player actions. In this campaign, a ground war situation at the beginning of mission is determined by ground war situation at the end of previous mission. Actions of player's squadron will have effect on ground war, by direct effect when killing enemy ground units or protecting own ground units from enemy helicopters or attack aircrafts, or by indirect effect when destroying enemy strategic targets or supply convoys. Level of air superiority can be affected by shooting down enemy fighters, killing fighters on apron, or destroying enemy runways and airbase infrastructure. If our air superiority level is low, good guys can't send war thugs and tankers in air and enemy has lots of more fighters harassing us. Same rules apply for enemy air defense level. Level of air superiority and enemy air defense level for next mission are determined at the end of last played mission. At beginning of next mission player will be asked to enter that level via F10 menu. It might sound complicated, but it isn't. Comprehensive manual will be included. As an XO of the F192, Golden Dragons, player is responsible for planning and leading part of squadron combat sorties according to air tasking order. ATO, of the day. Your squadron will launch 5 to ship Hornet flights, level 1 to 5. I will now show you how it works. I won't go deep into background story for now. Briefly, Iran has attacked two Emirates, and like you can see from chart, enemy troops are in Dubai City. Defending troops are lined up south of Dubai International Airport. Here you can find chart about cap areas, where you can task flights of your squadron to operate. Here are areas of operation for seed tasking. Pretty much same as for cap sorties. From support unit chart you may check position of tankers, and under which conditions they are able to operate. Bullseye chart is here to help you to get some reference for AWACS bullseye calls. And last but not least, here are pre-designated close air support operation areas. All these charts can also be found from campaign manual. From briefing text you will find situation briefing, air tasking order of the day, effective rules of engagement, squadron briefing and met report. At the end of previous mission, I was told that air superiority level of good guys will be 20 to 30% for this mission. Enemy air defense level was told to be 80 to 90%. Let's look from charts what it means. With the campaign, you will get comprehensive manual including background story, description about semi-dynamic campaign engine, and instructions and charts for mission plan. Normally, you will get air superiority level chart and enemy air defense level chart at the end of previous mission. If you forget to take screenshots of charts, you can find them also from manual. Of course, if you don't want to cheat, you should only check chart about current situation. As we can see enemy has quite a many active airbases. On left side we can see which squadrons are based on which airbase. Same way you will find enemy air defense level chart from manual. Enemy air defense level of 80 to 90% means, there is very comprehensive sand coverage at southern coast of Iran. Fortunately, most sites near airbases are rapiers, with quite a short range and low maximum altitude. In air tasking order, priority of my squadron is determined to be gaining and maintaining air superiority over Emirates territory. Now I must decide, how my squadron would make it happen. At the moment, enemy has air superiority and I must do something about it. Air Force has told, they have warthogs ready to fly close air support, if we just can keep enemy fighters away. So, I have decided, 
we will attack nearest enemy airbase at Siri Island, and also fly some patrol, and direct close air support for ground troops. From the campaign manual, we will find charts for flight planning. I will task Devil 2 Flight for Oka, offensive counter airstrike mission against Siri airbase. From charts, we can see they will fly to rendezvous point at waypoint 1, and wait for my call to push. They will line up to runway direction, heading 124, at waypoint 3. And, they will strike runway and airbase facilities, with GPS guided bombs, which after they will aggress southwest. I will myself, as Devil 1, fly cap over the area, and keep enemy fighters away from strike flight. Devil 3 will be tasked to fly seed mission at Area Bravo to take out SAM site's threatening strike flight. I will task Devil 5 to fly cap at Area Charlie over Dubai to keep enemy fighters, attack aircrafts and helicopters away from our ground troops. Devil 4 will be tasked for direct close air support at Area Hotel over Dubai. Next, I will go to Mission Planner to plan my and my wingman's flight. Waypoint 1 is set on Rendezvous Point and Waypoint 3 is on Bullseye. I will move Waypoint 2 over the Siri Island. I will add Waypoint to location where I think the carrier will approximately be at time of recovery, it will be Waypoint 3. Waypoint 4 will be set on Bullseye, so I can identify it on my navigation system. Then I will check my loadout. I have saved some standard loadouts to make it easier. I will select this one with 6 AIM 120s to AIM 9 X-rays and some extra fuel. For my wingman, I will get the same loadout, except he will get two extra tanks, cause he is not very good flying fuel efficiently. And now, we are ready to jump into the cockpit. And here we are on flight deck. Here is my wingman starting up. And there are Blue Blasters Squadron flight taxiing to catapult for AWACS escort mission. At the beginning of mission, I'm supposed to begin my startup procedures. Power up. AP on. Close the canopy. And start up the right one. TV's on. And start alignment. Start up left engine. Flight controls. Flight controls. I'll use standard heading for alignment. About one and a half minutes from mission start, I'm asked to give air superiority level via F10 menu. Let's do it. It was 20 to 30 percent, so enemy is pretty much controlling skies. Next, I will set enemy air defense level given to me at the end of previous mission. It was 80 to 90 percent. We must be careful out there. Now we will assign planned tasks to our squadron mates. For Devil 2, I planned Oka strike mission against Siri Airbase.
for Devil 3, I plan seed mission at Area Bravo. Devil 4 will go for Cass at Area Hotel. And Devil 5 will keep Area Charlie clear of enemy aircraft. And now I will finish my startup procedures. Oxygen on. Flight controls. Target is quite close, and it's good weather daytime. I will set bingo fuel to 4,000 pounds. Check my loadout. It's like it should be. Taken. Devils, radio check. Two. Three. ILS. Four. Five. The Talink. Let's set trim to sixteen. Bullseye was waypoint 4. I'll set it to be my air-to-air -air waypoint. Radar altimeter to 400. Seat armed. Bleed on. And alignment is ready. ECM to rack. I like to keep my lower screen on situational awareness page. We are ready to go. As it is told on campaign manual, it is important to wait until Devil 5 starts taxiing behind the island. Otherwise, our squadron mates might crash each other on the deck. Devil 4 is behind us, and they will start taxiing only after I have taxied the cat. But now, let's go. Strike. Devil 2, checking in. Devil 2, strike, join We'll stop here. Wings are spread. Strike, Devil 3 checking in. Controls will Devil be checked three. by heart. Strike, join rendezvous holding at a fine altitude. Flaps half. Devil 3. 
Strim said. Hook up. Seat armed. Harness on. We are ready to go. Full burners. Flight controls. And here we go. Gear up. Speed check. Flaps up. I will slow down a bit to wait my wingman. And fly to waypoint 1. Our package rendezvous point. Dispenser on. Radar to RWS. Devil 1, strike. Continue as planned. Devil 2, ready to launch. Strike, Devil 5, checking in. Devil 5, strike. Join rendezvous, holding at assigned altitude. Devil 5. I'm asked to check in with Wizard Campaign Custom AWACS on Channel 2. It is not mandatory, and you may also use DCS build in AWACS on Channel 16. I'll take this one. It will give us bullseye bearings for enemy aircrafts within 180 nautical miles from AWACS, which is circling southeast from here. Wizard, devil checking in. Devil, wizard, roger. I like to set my countermeasures on manual mode and tune up programs a little bit. Chaff for program number one and lots of flare for five. Contact Bullseye 135, 15 miles, low level, hostile. Devil 1, strike, be advised. Enemy close air support aircraft are closing harbor at the time. Devil 1. Devil 2, ready to launch. Devil 2, ready to launch. Contact, bullseye 345, 15 miles, medium level, hostile. Devil 5, ready to push. Devil 5 is ready to push towards Area Charlie.
Contact, Bullseye 015, 15 miles, high level, hostile. Contact, Bullseye 345, 15 miles, low level, hostile. Alright, we are at waypoint 1. Devils 2 and 3 are ready to push, but we will wait for my women. Contact Bullseye One Five Zero. Devil Four. One Hundred Ready Miles. Low level. Devil Four is also ready to push. They may do it. Devil Four. Devil One. Push. Four. Contact Bullseye Zero Seven Five. Fifty Miles. High Level. Hostile. According to AWACS calls, at the moment enemy aircrafts are quite far away. Contact, Bullseye 150, 100 miles, medium level, hostile. I will continue towards waypoint 2 to clear way for strike flight. Contact, Bullseye 105, 50 miles, high level, hostile. Seed flight, Devil 3 push now. Devil 3, Devil 1 push. 3! Contact, Bullseye 030, 0, 20 miles, medium level, hostile. Contact, Bullseye 150, 100 miles, high level, hostile. And now we have enough separation between fighter sweep, seed, and strike flight. Devil 2, Devil 1, push. 2. Use your situational awareness page to locate position called by AWACS. Here we can see enemy aircraft position, relayed to us via data link from AWACS. It's quite far away. Contact, Bullseye 135, 50 miles, medium level, hostile. Contact, 
Contact, Bullseye 105, 15 miles medium level, hostile. According to RWR, it seems to be make 29. I will change to track while scan mode and try to capture it. It's still 80 miles away. Contact, Bullseye 345, 50 miles, high level, hostile. Seed Flight Devil 3 is here right behind us, and Strike Flight Devil 2 behind it. Alright. Now there is someone quite close. Low level, so it might be alert flight from Siri Air Base. Radar lock. I'll send my wingman to engage first one, and I will engage second one myself. Fox 3. Splash one. And Wingman got the other one. Contact. Bullseye to eight five. Fifty miles. High level. Hostile. The MiG-29 got inside 20 miles too. Can't find it. I'll send Wingman to engage if he has contact. One more coming.
contact. Bullseye 210, 20 miles, medium level, hostile. Two, engage my target. My younger officer has shown some potential. He can handle this one too. I'll break left. Level 3 starting seed operations at Area Bravo. There's another one. Contact Bullseye 315, 50 miles medium level, hostile. Devil 2 commuting strike. Devil 5 kept area Charlie. Contact Bullseye 270, 20 miles medium level, hostile. Devil 2 is just going in for strike. Contact, Bullseye 255, 50 miles, medium level, hostile. Got him. Devil to hit the bullseye. Strike flight will aggress as planned, but I will release seed flight also. They have done their job. Devil 3, Devil 1, RTD. 3!
There's Devil 5 at Area Charlie. They are engaging two enemies behind us. I think we can safely aggress and let them take Contact. care of bandits. I'll speed up a little bit, and get us to debriefing. It is very important not to end mission before you have been debriefed. If you are shot down, debriefing will run automatically, and if you land on carrier, you can start debriefing by hitting spacebar. Otherwise you will miss important situational information needed for next mission. Some holding in Marshall stack. Strike! Devil 3, checking out! 
Devil 3, strike. Contact Marshall on channel 10. Devil 3. Speed check. Gear down. Flaps half. Flaps full. Gear down, three green, flaps full, hook is down. Eject, eject. He is going down. Sir, you will be asked to set given air superiority level and enemy air defense level at beginning of next mission. You should write them down or take a screenshot. You will also need following maps when planning next mission, so you are advised to take screenshots. Press spacebar to start debriefing. Let's taxi to parking and shut down for debriefing.
Iran Army has continued attack invading deeper into Emirates territory. Iran Army has taken control of Sharjah and Dubai International Airports. More troops are being transported to the area by ships and helicopters in cover of air superiority. First we are told about ground war situation. Iran has made progress in Emirates territory. Maybe I could have changed it with my squadron's contribution or maybe nothing would have helped enough. This time, I put my effort for gaining air superiority. On upper right corner, we are told about loses on both sides, strikes on strategic targets, and so on. Next we are told about enemy air defense situation. It did not change. It is quite understandable, cause one seed flight can only suppress local air defense to protect strike package. I might need some seed strike sorties later. Then we will hear about air superiority situation. As I hoped, my strike plan did have effect, and enemy has lost some air power. I took screenshots of air superiority and air defense situation charts, because they are not shown to me at beginning of next mission. In case you forget to do it, you will find charts from the campaign manual. This is a bit different kind of campaign, and I know it is not for every kind of players. You really must like mission planning and thinking tactics and even strategics. But I hope it will give lots of enjoyment for those who will buy it.